can use named ranges in Excel to create dynamic ranges that change and grow along with your data. Now I'm going to create a range. I'm going to go to Insert, Name, Define. So I'm going to call it SP. I'm going to use a formula here, Offset. I'm going to start my range at B3 and I'm going to offset it by zero rows, zero columns. The number of rows that I want in my range is gonna depend on how many data points I have. So I'm gonna do count, and I'm gonna select where my data is all the way down to the bottom, so that way as I add more, they'll be counted. And the number of columns is gonna stay at one, so I'm gonna leave that empty, okay. Add that. Now if I click on this, and then click this little toggle button here, you can see that the dynamic range is highlighted and you can see that it stops right where my data stops. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my dates. I'm going to add another one here, dates, and this one is going to start at A3 and it's going to count the number of S&P data points. All this should be the same, so I'm going to add that. Okay, now I'm going to add a chart based on this data. My Y values, we have to type in the sheet name, one exclamation point, and then the name of your data range, which is SP. And my X axis labels, I want it to be in my date, so it's sheet one exclamation point, and then dates. If I hit OK, I'm just going to add S&P data one at a time here, and you can see that my chart is automatically updating because the range that the chart is tied to is automatically expanding. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.